where me have for you. Now, another news where me, where me pick up on family and friends was a serious news where me not see now but I really are, I really are pray. At this Nord Stream pipeline thing here. Because it appear <laughs> that there's a Pulitzer Prize winner, Seymour Hearst, that has made a shocking announcement that a lot of people are not covering, saying that, you know, it appears that the United States of America is the one that's more likely you know re responsible for the actual destruction of you know the Nord Stream pipe let me correct my title them here so cause that no look right so people more want to know want to know let me know if you want to hear about this particular situation here because if this was another country that actually did this to the United States what would be going on in a land because I got me a year ago and pan what I go on so I'm going to look into the article here and we all discuss what really I go on pan what I go on like me saying up on a Sunday we are trying to touch over Few things, but we touch upon already. And then touch few things again. But it appears that a lot of the media in the United States is not touching this particular topic. You understand? It appears them not touch this your topic as. You know that all of the Russian media have been blocked in the United States so nobody can see nothing. But it's been reported here by legendary journalist Seymour Hirsch that the Nord Stream pipeline was destroyed by the United States. Now the Nord Stream pipeline is a gas pipeline that runs in between Russia and Germany and actually supplies Europe with a lot of gas. Now it appears that this journalist have came under fire for making such a damning statement. But a lot of conspiracy theorists a lot of people who have a free thinking mind has dove into this. A source direct knowledge of the sabotage, the unwitty anonymous source from C Seymour Hearst alleged that the Nord Stream pipeline in September 2022 was blown up with explosive planted in June by US divers during a NATO exercise in the Baltic Sea and the Norwegian Navy detonated them three months later. Hirsch is not no piano piano reporter in a people. Hirsch a serious top man. Hirsch is a Pulitzer Prize winner from 1970 them man ya do them thing ya he really he revealed the Miley massacre during the Vietnam War using a single source of report and the so-called conspiracy theory it was controversial but it was proven true the White House has rejected all of her allegation that the US is behind the sabotage it is utterly false complete fiction but Hirsch argued that the pipeline 
represented a political threat of cheap Russian natural gas for Germany and Western Europe and competition for the United States gas export for the most critical readers. Her story lies somewhere between disinformation and a hoax. But for others, huh, free thinkers like I and I, <laughs> anything is possible. Rastafari soldier is telling you that. It is not the first time that hers has ruffled administration because back in 2013, he ruffled the Western government by accusing the Syrian president, Bashar al Hashad to order chemical weapons to attack on Ghouta and the suburbs of Damascus. So this general here, the reporter, is a groundbreaker. He likes to challenge the mainstream and then report on things that are leaks. Him no like to give out all of his information because if you give out your information, nobody now go trust you. Me want you to tell me from New York all the way to Brussels. You on Deep Roots TV? Let me know. Pan the Free Roots TV. What do you think of this damning report about the United States of America? As a lot of newspaper are reeling as they try to cover the footprints of the administration of the United States that is around. Because this controversial report by Seymour Hearst has renewed the investigation upon this publication that claimed the United States was responsible for the destruction of the Nord Street pipeline that transport natural gas to Germany from Russia. It is possible because if we recall September 26, 2022, the Nord Stream pipeline, the natural gas pipeline from Russia to Germany was largely destroyed by several explosives in the Baltic Sea. I'm talking about in a German water between Russia and Germany. Now, like I'm telling you, the award-winning investigative reporter Seymour Hirsch published this article, and this article is based on information from a single anonymous source. And he's arguing that the Biden administration and the CIA were responsible for the destruction of the Nord Stream pipeline. And I and I man now tell you if I'm right or wrong. All I'm saying, pan the free youth TV, pan the approach TV where you can think for yourself. Let me know what you think. See more her says, what I've done is simply explain the obvious. It was just a story that was begging to be told. In late September of 2022, eight bombs were supposed to go off. Six went off on the water near the island of Bornholm in the Baltic Sea. In the area with rather shallow water, they destroyed three of four major pipelines in the Nord Stream 1 and 2. Nord Stream 1 has been feeding gas fuel to Germany for many years at very low price. And then both pipelines were blown up. And the question was why? And who did it? On February 7, 2022, in the build-up to the war in Ukraine, the President of the United States, Joe Biden, at a press release, at the White House with German Chancellor Olaf said that we can stop Nord Stream. The exact words 
from Joe Biden was, if Russia invades, there will be no longer a Nord Stream 2. We will bring a end to it. And when a reporter asks how exactly he intend to do that, given the project was within the control of Germany, Biden just said, I promise we will be able to do it. He, uh, the, his undersecretary of state, Victor Noland, who was deeply involved in what they called the Median Revolution in 2014, you similar language a couple of weeks earlier. You say that the decision to take out the pipeline was taken even earlier by President Biden. You lay out the story from the beginning, chronologically from December 2021. When the National Security Advisor Joke, when he, Jake Sullivan convened, according to your piece, a meeting of a newly formed task force from the Joint Chief of Staff, the CIA, the State and the Treasury Department, you wrote, Sullivan intended for a group to come up with a plan for the destruction of the two Nord Stream pipeline. Seymour Hurst, this group initially was convened in December to study the problem. They brought in the CIA and so on. They were meeting in a very secret office right next door to the White House. There's an office building that called the Executive Office Building. It is connected underground through a tunnel and at the top of it is the meeting place for a secret group. An outside group of advisor called the President's Intelligence Advisory Board. I only report that to let the people in the White House know that I know something. The meeting was convened to study the problem. What are we going to do if Russia is going to war? This is three months before the war, before Christmas, if to, in 2022. It was a high level group. It probably had a different name. I just called it the inter Interagent group. Interagent group. I don't know the formal name. If there was one, it was the CIA, the National Security Agents, which monitor the, and intercept communications, the State Department and the Treasury Department, which supply money and probably a few group that were involved. The Joint Chief of Staff had represented station as well. The big task they had was to give recommendation about what to do about stopping Russia. Measures that are either reversible, like more sanction and economic pressure, or irreversible, kinetic things, exploding things, for example, I don't want to talk specifically about any particular meeting because I have to protect my source. I don't have how I don't know how many people were at the meeting. Do I don't know. I don't understand how many if you understand what I mean. In the article you wrote that in early 2000 the CIA worked with a group reported back to Sullivan's intelligence group and they said we have a way to blow up the pipelines. Seymour Hurst now said they did have a way. There were people there who understood what we call in America mine warfare. In the United States Navy there are groups that go into submarines. There are also one command about nuclear engineering and there is a mining commander under 
ground mining is very important and we have the skills and the skilled miners probably the most important place for training miners is in this little resort town called panama city in the middle of nowhere in florida we train very good people there and use them miners are very important you get clogged entirely into ports there are places where you blow up things in the way if we don't like a certain country on the water pipeline for oil we could blow them up too it's not always good things they do but they are very secretive for the group at the white house it was clear that they could blow up the pipelines there were explosive called c4s which is incredibly powerful devastating particularly with the amount that they use you can control and operate it by remote with underground sensor device they send very low frequent signal so it's possible and they told the white house that by early january which two or three weeks later under security of the states what victoria nolan said we can do it i think this was january 20 and then the president as well as olaf the german premier said on february 7th that he could that we could do it scholars which is you know olaf scholars said nothing specific he was vague she was vague or he was vague but the question and i would ask scholar if i had a preliminary hearing is this did president biden tell you about this did he tell you at that time why he was so confident he could blow it up we didn't have a plan yet but we knew we had the capability to do it wow seymour continue well norway is a great seaman nation and they have underground energy that's where they also were very anxious to increase the amount of natural gas they can sell to the western and german market and they have done that they have increased their export so for economic reason why not join with the united states they also have a residential a resident resi residual dislike of russia excuse me in your article you wrote that the secretary or the secret service and the navy of norway were involved in the sweden and denmark in a short brief story that you told seymour hurst went on to say there's you know a part that i put together here if you didn't tell them you don't need to tell them in other words you are doing what you are doing and they know what you're doing and they understand what you're going on to do but maybe nobody ever said yes i worked on these kind of issues very much with people and i talk about it the bottom line is to do this mission the Norwegian had to find the right place, the device, and were being trained in the Panama City could go to 300 feet underwater without heavy diving tank, only a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen and helium. The Norwegian found out a place off, off Bornholm Island in the Baltic that also only 260 feet deep so they could operate they would have to return slowly there was a decompression chamber and we used the norwegian submarine hunter only two divers were used for the four pipelines one problem was how to deal with those people who monitored the baltic sea 
it is very thoroughly, mo thoroughly monitored and there's a great deal of openly available information. So we took care of this. There were three or four different people for that. And what we then did is really simple. Every summer for 21 years, our Navy, Navy Sixth Fleet, which has control of the Mediterranean and also the Baltic Sea, had a exercise for NATO navies in the Baltic. The Baltop is the name of the exercise. And we'd bring a Navy carrier, a large ship around it, and was a very open thing. The Russians certainly knew about it. We did publicity, and in this one, for the first time in history, the Baltic Sea NATO operation had a new program. It was going to have a exercise in dropping mines and finding mines for 10 to 12 days. Several nations sent our mining team and one group would drop the mine and another mine group from their country would go hunt below and bring it up. So you had a period where there were things blowing up and in the time of the Norwegian could recover deep sea divers the two pipelines run about a mile apart. They're under the dirt a little bit, but they are near enough to the hard surface where you can practice around them. It's not far-fetched that they did this for a few hours, and it only take them a few hours to plant the so-called detonators. Yes, so... um. The, the writer here, I'm, I'm reading an article here which is very interesting, so I, I don't want to stop right now. So, yo, if you have something to do, do it. So, this was in June of 2022. Seymour Hearst responded, yes, they did it around 10 days into June and the end of the exercise. But at the last minute, the White House got nervous. The president said he is afraid of doing it he changed his mind and gave them the order that he wanted the right to bomb anything to set the bomb off anytime remotely. You do it with just a regular sonar, actually, or a Raytheon, that, that, actually that, a Raytheon build. You fly over and drop the cylinder down. It is send a low frequency signal. You can describe it as a flute sound. You can make different frequency, but the worry was that one of the detonators, if the explosive I'm saying, if left in the water too long, would not work, and two didn't. They only got three of the four pipelines Wow. So there was a panic inside the group to find the right means. And they actually had to go to other intelligent agents. They didn't want to write about it. Now I'm reading an article here by Fabian Shelsder. And he asks, and so what happened then? They placed it, they found it, a way to control it remotely? Shimohar said, yes, Joe Biden decided not to blow them up. It was in early June, five months into the war, but then in September, he decided to do it. I'll tell you something. The operational people, the people who do kinetic things for United States, they do what the president say. And they initially thought this was a useful weapon that he could use to negotiate. But at the same point, once the Russian went in and they went, and then when the operation was done, it, this became increasingly obvious to the people who did it. These are well-trained people. 
They are in the highest level of secrecy in intelligence agency. They turn on the project. They thought this was a insane thing to do. And within a week or three or four days after the bombing, after they did what they were ordered to do, there was a lot of anger and hysteria and hostility. This is obviously reflective in the fact that I'm learning so much about it. And I'll tell you something else. The people in America and Europe who build pipeline knows what happened. I'm telling you something important. The people who own companies that build pipeline know the story. I don't get the story from them, but I learn quickly. They know. Now, the right of the article, Fabian said, let's go back to this situation in June last year. President Joe Biden decided not to do it directly and postponed it. So they did. They do it then in September. The Secretary of State, this is Seymour answering, the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinklin, said a few days after the pipeline was blown up at a news conference that a major economic and almost military force was taken away from Vladimir Putin. He said this was tremendous opportunity as Russia could no longer weaponize the pipelines, meaning that it was not able to force Western Europe not to support the United States in the war. The fear was that Western humor would not go along any longer with the war. It think that the reason they decide to do it then was that they, the war wasn't going well for the West. And they were afraid that the winter coming, the Nord Stream 2, has been sanctioned by Germany and the United States and was afraid that Germany would lift the sanction because of the bad winter. Now Fabian asked, again, this is the writer of the article that I'm reading, okay, from jacobin.com. According to you, what were the motives when you look behind the scene? The United States government was supposed to was opposed to the pipeline for many reasons. Some say that they were opposed to the, because it wanted to weaken the Russia, to weaken the ties between Russia and West Europe, Germany especially, but maybe also to weaken Germany economy. Why, after all, is a competitor to the United States economy with high gas price enterprise have stated to move to the United States? So what your sense of motivation for the United States government if they blow up the pipeline. Now, Seymour Hurst's answer, I don't think they thought it through. I know this sounds strange. I don't think that Blinken and some of the other administration are deep thinkers. There certainly are people in the American economy who like the idea of using, you know, us being more competitive. We are selling LNG, liquefied gas, liquefied natural gas at extreme big profits. We are making lots of money on it. I'm sure there, there were some people thinking, boy, this is going to be a long time boost for the American economy. But in that White House, I think the obsession was always re-election and they wanted to win the war. They wanted to get a victory. They wanted Ukraine to somehow magically win. They could be some people who think maybe, you know, I'll be better for a economy if economy in Germany is weak. But the craziest thing that they're thinking, I think basically that we have bitten deep into something that's not going to work. The war is not going to turn out well for the government, says, you know, Seymour Hearst. I don't think 
that matter. I does it doesn't think matter that I think so. What I know is there's no way this war is going to turn out the way we want. And I don't know what we are going to do as we go through further down the line. It is, you know, scares, scary to me that the president was willing to do this. And the people who did this mission believe that the president didn't realize what he was doing to the people of Germany, that he was pushing a economical war on them, punishing them for the war that wasn't going well. And in the long run, this is going to be very detrimental, not only to his reputation as a president, but political too. It is going to be a stigma for America. In the CIA was understood that, you know, a lot of people are unhappy with what's going on. So what you think about this here? Because the interview kind of go on a little bit. So let me kind of complete it here. So what you have is a White House that thought it may have a losing card. Germany and West, West Europe may have stopped giving their arms but wanted Germany, Chancellor, to, you know, could turn the pipeline on. That was, you know, always a fear to America. I could be answering a lot of questions to Chancellor. I would ask him what he learned in February when he was with the president. The operation was a big secret, and the president wasn't supposed to tell anybody about this capability. But he doesn't, he does talk. He say things that he doesn't want to. Now, the reporter that's talking to Seymour Hearst, Fabian Shelder, stated, Your story was reported in Western media with some restraint and criticism. Some attacked it, your reputation, or said that you had only one anonymous source, and that's not reliable. Now, Seymour Hearst said, how could I possibly talk about a source? I've written many stories about a unnamed source. If I named somebody, they'd be fired, or worse, jail. A law is so, the law is so strict. I've never had anyone exposed. And of course, when I write, I say, as I did in the article, it's a source, period. And over the years, the story I've written have always been ac accepted. I have always told the truth. I have used for this story the same caliber of skills fact checker as how I had worked when I was with the New York New Yorker magazine of course there are many ways to verify obscure information he told the reporter and you know a personal attack on me doesn't give me any problem nor get to the point the point is that Biden chose to keep Germany cold this winter. The president of the United States would rather see Germany cold because of energy shortage than Germany possibly not supportive of the Ukraine war. And that, to me, is going to be a devastating thing for this White House, for me, and I think also for the people on the mission, it was appalling now the reporter asked the point is also that i can it can be perceived as an act of war not only against russia but against western allies especially germany let's keep it simple it i can tell you that the people involved in the operation saw the president as choosing to keep germany cold for his short-range political goals, and that horrifies them. 
I'm talking about American people that are intensely loyal to the United States and the CIA. It's understood that as it I put it in my article, they work for the crown. They don't work for the Constitution. The one virtue of the CIA is that a president who cannot get his agenda through Congress and nobody listens to him can take a walk in the backyard of the Rose Garden of the White House with the CIA director and somebody can get hurt 8,000 miles away. That's always been the selling point of the CIA, which is I have problem with. But even that the community is appalled that he chose to keep Europe cold in the support of a war that he's not going to win. And that, to me, is heinous. Now, the reporter Fabian goes on to say, you said in your article that the planning of the attack was not reported to Congress as is necessary, which other converts, like other covert operations. Now, Seymour Hersh say it wasn't reported to many places inside the military. There were places, people in other institutions that should have known. <coughs> Excuse me. That should have known. Now, they, they did not know. It's a serious covert operation that took place. OSI INT is the open source intelligence that's supposed to provide information on CIA planes. Now, there was some critique of the article by people that says, you know, engage in evaluation in the open source on the ships and the airplanes in the Baltic region saying that no Norway plane were detected or spotted of the explosion on September 26th or for the day. And Hirsch responds that any serious covert operator knows that the OSINT can, you know, move around different blimps or radar. As I said, he said, there were people on the mission who took care of this issue. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what role does you think that the United States played in the part of the Nord Stream pipeline? Now, Hearst did wrap up the article and said, what's courageous about telling the truth? Our job isn't to be afraid, and sometimes it gets ugly. There have been times in my life when you know I don't talk about it. Threats are different things. See, I, I just turned on the AC, so I'm, I'm sneezing. Yeah, threats don't affect me. Threats are made to, you know, detour me, you know, and to make people like me shut up. They haven't made me quiet. They have been made to me for my children to my spouse. They have been awful stuff. But you don't worry about it. You can't. You have to just do your job. So you see, even Seymour Hearst, I got you the same thing. Where Jamaican flag of them got you. Now, I'm going to talk for a minute, so, you know, I really want, did want to touch upon the Nord Stream pipeline. Later on, I will touch upon some other things. But I am going to sign off on the channel right now. On the Sunday, I will give you a little bit longer talk, because to me, it's a stronger talk. You are to Now, Yai yeah, Wayne did bring me in a minute ago. I'm going to look him up again and see if he can bring me in again. Because I'm weeping and wailing him saying. Because the people them really don't have no love for them, for them, for them brother and sister. 
Them don't have no love for them brother and sister, family and friend. A joke thing. So I'm more life and I'm more joy and I'm more happiness. I and I am and I say, give thanks for sticking with me. You know, it's an awesome situation. Or a magnificent, I don't say awesome. It's a magnificent situation, you know what I say? So, a worldwide, I send this out to all the people them. Make sure you love one another. Look into life like it's the true, it's the greatest prize of all, because life is the greatest, my family and friends. Right? I don't make nobody take it from you, you know what I say? You know, that's the far right soldier here, a deep road, TV thing, you know? Yeah, more life and more joy, because right now, my life, on the set, it's a shame. Seems like the man in my report said, United States, I then blow up the Nord Stream pipeline. You see, when my report like this now, them try to cut down my channel. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, them try to cut down my channel. But what I say is just go on, share up the thing for the Rasta man. I like me saying, you know, I'll make your way bring me out. Yeah, I know you like Fire Key for bring me out, but. I just saw it going on. Right now, it's a sad situation. Yeah. Yeah, I saw it going on. Them say, I the US blow up the Nord Stream. Them not care about we at all. Where you are we and say? A long time. A long time. Long, long time, me I tell you now. Babylon a crook. But that no means that we are going to give up. Yeah, I wait for them kids. Yeah? Just subscribe, like, and share for me, you see? It's Rastafari, right, so that they broach TV. Leave your comment, give me a thumbs up on the Sunday, you know? Yeah. Them say a US blow up the Nord Stream pipeline. One year I'm Russia food. <laughs> Big up all my families and friends. Seymour Hirsch, prize willing journalist. Yeah, Pulitzer Prize winning journalist. Yeah, it's Rastafari right soldier. Yeah, big up on ourselves, eh? Lightning. Yeah, and I saw me all, I saw me all make it go still, you know? So me all make it go. Yeah, you know me all make it go. Yeah. 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 Fire key, 